so you don't stack physical silver because the spot price is up and down too much, mostly down. Really? Well, let me fix that for you. All right, so very quickly before we get started, I know many of you have asked for ways you can directly support my channel. Well, I don't have Patreon and none of the members only stuff, but what I do have is a small merch store, which you're looking at here. So if you want to buy some cool Silver Joker merchandise and help support my channel, this is the easiest way you can do it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and buy yourself some of this cool stuff. And it really does help my channel. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, so I see this all the time. <laughs> I get these comments all the time, I'm sure. If you have a YouTube channel and you produce silver stacking content, that you get the same. And that is people are just so focused in on spot price. Spot price, spot price, spot price. They see spot price as the value of their physical silver. And nothing could be further from the truth. Let me ask you this. So... If you stack silver, have been stacking silver for any length of time, does it seem to you like silver's losing any value? Does it seem like the price is getting any less? Does it seem like silver's getting any cheaper? Well, of course not, because the true value of silver is in the physical silver. They can make as much paper silver as they like, and they can price it any way they want to, which is where spot price comes from. They can put whatever price they want on that paper silver. But we know if you are a stacker and you stack physical silver, we know that the value of silver has only gone up. The price of silver has only gone up. So that smoke and mirrors that they try to show us just what it is, just smoke and mirrors. The price, the true price of silver is what that premium is. So if a coin dealer, bullion seller, whoever sets a premium, that's the price. That is the price. And it seems to have very little to do with spot price as far as them going and pricing the silver. And we see that because you can't buy silver at spot price and you should not be selling silver at spot price. So you let them play that spot price game up there in the market. Here, where the rubber meets the road, we know that silver is a lot more valuable. The price is a lot higher than what that spot price says it is. And so the premium that is put on that silver by whoever's selling it, that is the price. The value comes from us willing to pay that price, period. Because if you go into a coin store and you try to say, well, I'm going to pay this because spot price is this, you're not going to get it. You're going to pay what that seller is asking for, or you're not going to get it. And that's the bottom line. But the reason that you're going to pay that price is because you see the value in that physical silver. All right, listen, I want you to hear what the experts have to say about our attitudes towards gold and silver. Now, when they're talking about, they're gonna be talking about gold, they're gonna be saying gold, but they're talking about gold and silver. They use gold for obvious reasons. I took this from two documentaries, great documentaries, and I'll leave a link to both documentaries in the description, and if you haven't seen them, please do yourself a favor, go watch these documentaries. They are absolutely eye-opening. But anyway, I want you to hear a little bit of what they had to say about buying physical metals. It's gold and silver. And it was these two precious metals which mankind adopted as both stores of value and mediums of exchange. Uh, I just attended a, a conference in Singapore and people don't care about prices. They constantly accumulate gold. They regard it as, as, as a currency, as money. Uh, they don't really care about the prices. Yeah? They just want to own gold, lots of gold. So it's not about spot price. So get away from spot price. Don't let spot price deceive you into thinking that that is the value of your physical silver because it is not. Your silver's worth what you're willing to accept for it. Period. That is the value of your physical bullion. If you accept $25 for your silver eagle, then that is the value you placed on it. If you won't accept anything less than $35 for your Silver Eagle, that is the value that you placed on it. And you can hold it until you get that price. It's coming. And we know that. And so get away from spot price. Don't let spot price deter you from doing the right thing with your financial health. 
So physical silver is referred to as the people's money. It's been called the people's money. Okay, so what do we mean by that? Well, that means that we, the people, have the means to store value and the ability to trade with each other absent of any government's influence. Paper money, on the other hand, i.e. the government's promise, puts the powers that be squarely in your pocket and at the center of your life. I mean, imagine if we no longer had governmental influence over our personal commerce and trade, thinking about the way things are today. Can you imagine what that would be like if we could trade with each other absence of any governmental influence? That would be amazing. And you think that they want that? <laughs> Do you think that they want commerce to happen irrespective of them? Absolutely not. Um, you know, the creation, there's a, there's a great declassified U.S. document from 1974 from the U.S. Embassy in London saying, you know, the creation of a large, a very large paper gold futures market would go a long way in managing the price of gold because it, and, and it would therefore reduce American demand for physical gold. And, you know, that would be a good thing. Um, it's right there in black and white. You can see it. It's an official U.S. history. And excuse me, that's not a conspiracy theory or some paranoid imaginings. It's fact. A capitalistic society must feed off of dependency. I mean, look at it this way. If everyone was rich, who would pick up the garbage? I mean, our society can only exist if a number of us are without the means of financial independence. But that does not have to be you. Gold has to be stored outside of the institutions against which it serves as insurance or against the collapse of which or the problems of which it serves as insurance. And obviously it has to be stored in a way where you personally have ability to access it. Many people, myself included, prefer to hold gold in secure storage and they prefer to hold it outside the political jurisdiction in which they live because they regard it as insurance among other things against the depredation of their own government. So don't believe the hype. Silver is very valuable and becoming more so. Premiums are the real measure of silver's price. And the fact that we pay those premiums are the true measure of silver's value. So let them play their games with the banking system. Let them play their games with the manipulated spot price. Let them play their games with market volatility and all that kind of stuff. We're going to stack the real money. We're going to store the real value, and that is physical metals, gold, silver. We're going to get that. <laughs> We're going to get the people's money. We're going to store that for the time when we need it. And who knows what that need is going to look like. That need may be just our retirement. Or who knows what that's going to look like, but you want to be prepared. Anyway, I just wanted to come on the mic and say a little bit of that because, you know, I got a nasty comment on my last video, and you know who you are. And what you suggested I do to myself, for the record, would be physically impossible. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> well, they went all off about, you know, silver's volatility, you know, the price is this and that, and they kept on bringing up spot price. And I'm just telling you, spot price is not the value of your precious metals. It is not, simply not the price of your precious metals. It is the price that the market puts on paper silver. And my perspective has always been, um, if you want to buy gold um, for safety reasons, um, to, 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 to hedge against uh, financial disaster or whatever, you have to buy physical gold. You, you don't want to have any counterparty. Uh, you have to have the real thing. Um, if you want to speculate with it, of course you can buy um, uh, paper gold, but it's just not the real thing because they can manipulate that any way they want to, but they cannot create physical silver. People are starting to become a lot more educated about physical silver. They're starting to understand the value of precious metals a lot more intimately, and they're starting to buy silver and gold a lot more. More people are taking it in and less people are putting it out. And that's going to be what turns everything around as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Go visit my merch store. Keep stacking. Peace.